What up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen and pets of all ages? Your boy Jess. Welcome back to another, another, another Man of 15 Online Rank Match. And today, we have the Green Bay Pacors going up against the New England Patriots. Definitely should be a good game. We know we, we got that discount double check that we're trying to go ahead and get loose. Uh, this is my second time going around using the Packers. Last time, uh, we lost. I'm not sure to what team, but... I do know we lost. So, hopefully we can go on ahead and get a W for you Packers fans out there. Now, we do have some really, really, really good matches coming your way. And, uh, as always, really excited to go on ahead and give you guys some some uh, some good gameplay. We got a lot of goodies. A lot of goodies coming your way. And I'm, I'm very excited. So, uh, hopefully we can just go on ahead and end this game I'm talking about. And, you know, stop Tom Brady. Whenever... You go against a certain team, you should already know what to expect. Well, not all, because people play differently, but you know what their weapons are, and you know what you have to control. When you see the Patriots, you know you have to deal with Tom Brady, Gronkowski, and that's a very deadly uh, combination. And, you know, you have to prepare for an aerial assault. Now, this guy definitely uh, passed the ball, you know, from time to time. It's a fumble! And we get the baby. That RB button, baby. Get it in your life. Um, he ran the ball a lot, and when I'm, you know, facing the Patriots, I don't expect to see too many runs. I expect first play like a a, a, a four one set, you know, four receivers, one running back, or something like that. Jordy does whoop, get loose, whoop, oh, oh, come oh, 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 look at the move, eat some nerd, son. Look at Jordy Nelson just skipping on his way into the end zone. The hips don't lie, baby. The hips do not lie. He was he was shakiring them over there, baby. He was hitting them with the shakir over there. Nice little move by Jordy Nelson, though. So here we go, play action right here. A nice pass by him to get rid of the ball. As always, on offense, we're running Oakland. And on defense, we are running multiple defense, which is uh, Dream Killer's scheme, defensive scheme that he, he let us use a little bit. He, he let us use a little bit. I don't, I don't go too deep into the playbook because I like to figure stuff out myself defensively. But, you know, at certain times, like, you know what? It's time to pull out the He's like a lifeline. Right there, look at that three-man B-gap. It's like a lifeline, you know? I'm like, oh, you're going to come out, and I know you're going to pass the ball. I know I have a three-man B-gap available. Call him. Bring, bring. Oh, hello there. You have reached the Dream Killers hotline. How may I help you? I think I would like to use a three-man B-gap right about now. Go right ahead. So fourth down, as always, I do not get the stuff. I thought I was lurking at. I seen them crossing over towards my side. You know, I started backpedaling, hoping maybe I could get, like, a jump on that. Wrong. 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 Just didn't have it right there. It's a fumble. You got to love because he came out under center. And whenever I see that, I try to call, like, a run D because he's been running the ball a lot. So I came out in, like, a run D. And I don't have any run D. I just call, like, a three three five nickel. And I'll just call something with at least five guys rushing, you know, trying to, you know, uh, stop the run. And it just so happens that we got a sack right there because he ended up doing a play action, which is huge. And look at Eddie Lacey showing the jaw. Oh, get off me. He's so strong. I'm telling you right now, this very moment, Eddie Lacey right now is using, instead of moisturizing when he's done taking the bath, he uses chicken grease. Just all that protein all up inside of his body. He's so strong, though. As he ends up shredding attack tackle, getting into the end zone. So right now, 14-0, we definitely feel comfortable. Now, I do know the Patriots do have... The type of offense that can score in an instant. So, you know, I'm not counting him out just yet. Uh, right here, fourth down, he goes for it. Always. Oh, we always give up the fourth down. Always. I don't know what it is. I can't stop somebody on fourth down. What's crazy is that I can somewhat consistently get people to fourth downs, you know, a few times, at least a few times a game. And they go for it and they get it. I don't know what it is about these fourth downs that I just can't make the necessary stop. I don't know what it is. Right here, uh, fourth and twenty-six. We just call two men under. Just you know, uh, shred everybody back in. We get a pick. I would have not preferred that. You know, a bat down. We would have had the ball real close to our end zone. That right there is basically like a punt. So the computer catching interceptions when I wish they wouldn't. It would have been better for them to just swat that down. But nonetheless, we're gonna try our best to get in at least field goal range. Man to man, right here, next little in route. And we end up going to cop double juking though. And uh, with Mason Crosby, we're pretty much already in field goal range, but we want to make it just a little bit easier. So we end up going to a uh, corner route right there, bringing the time down and kicking a uh, game, well, half-ending field goal, putting, putting us up 17-0, also getting ball at halftime. And um, let me know if there's any, because a couple people have already hit me up on Twitter letting me know. Look at Lacey, though. <laughs> 
couple people have already hit me up on Twitter uh, letting me know that they've tried Oakland Playbook because of my suggestion and that um, it's a playbook that, you know, they really like. So let me know in the comments section if anybody has tried Oakland via, you know, me talking about and you guys want to give it a shot and you guys liked it. Let me know. I definitely would like to know if anybody's given Oakland a shot. If you guys haven't, definitely do try it out. Look at wide open and discount double check is just messing up over here. They're just messing up over there. That was so wide open right there. You should have had that. But, yeah, anybody, let me know if you guys are using Oakland. Definitely a uh, a good book. And, oh, look at this interception, though. And right here, I tried to get loose. I tried to, whoop, I tried to jump, but I couldn't. It wouldn't let me, whoop. But if I could have, whoop, I would have, whoop, right into the end zone. And, and it didn't let me. So, right here, nice little juke right there. We get to about the one-yard line where we do end up scoring right here. Yeet. Right over the middle. <laughs> Somebody told me when I say that. Every time I say that on my stream, they're like, "Yo, it sounds like a dead donkey is just calling for help." <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to pr properly say it. I don't, I don't know. I'm telling you, I watch vines too much, man. I'm addicted to vines. Uh, right here, he had the. I guess that must have been verticals right there. He called and he had that like slanting streak over the middle that he had, but he ends up uh, not throwing it. He ended up just taking the safe route right there. Um, right here, we end up catching the interception. And uh, we almost end up taking it. Oh, actually, we do. We end up taking it for six right there. As you uh, might have heard, my baby just come in, grab his grilled cheese, and then just leave. <laughs> so 31 to zero right here. And we had, oh, hold on. Somebody just, this is a magazine that somebody just gave me. Look at this. A bunch of NFL jerseys. I ain't spending my money in no damn F NFL jerseys. Get out my damn face. So uh, here we go right there. Uh, nice little block shed. Those are the best. When you just call two men under and you just get a block shed and you get a sack. Like, uh, you know, especially for me, those are beautiful. Right here, Tom Brady rolls out. Oh, we drop the user and interception. Fourth down. Can we finally get a stop on fourth? He throws it up. We don't even get it. Look at that. That was <laughs> that was a gimme. That gimme that gimme that. That was one of those Chris Brown gimmies. Like he was thrown right up. I was ball hot. I was licking my lips. I was chopping. And then it came to me. And then I just started sweating more than Mayweather trying to read a book. I was getting scared. I was getting nervous. It, it was a quack quack. It was a rubber ducky. And I got underneath it. And I held Y, and absolutely nothing happened. And this this weasel kicked the field goal just so he ruled my shutout. Now, I, I can't blame him. You know, at points like this, like, you know what? You ain't shutting me up. I'm getting some points on the port. But, you know, shout outs to this guy for actually sticking through the the game. There's a lot of times where people, you know, get a onslaught like this and they quit. So, you know, he took it. Hopefully, he learned from it. I've got my ass with plenty of times. And, uh, you know, sometimes there, there are things you can learn from them. So that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's your boy Jess. I'm out. Peace. Yeet.